guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about doweling your cake the right way. Okay, let's talk about doweling. So many times I see cake decorators do it wrong. It drives me nuts. They'll come along, they'll push straws or their dowels all through the cake, and then they just snip, 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 and then they think they've got it done. Well, that's the wrong way. So what you do is you take your board. Now this board has been cut to the exact shape of the cake that's gonna sit on top of it. I have two boards. The other board is under the cake, obviously. And then there's this one. So I turn it upside down. Now you need to let the icing be in the refrigerator. This is buttercream, so the buttercream gets hard. If I was to just ice in this cake, and then immediately dowel it, and then I put the cake in the refrigerator, guess what? The icing shrinks, okay? And then now all your dowels will be sticking up above the cake because it's shrunk. You don't want that. Your cake will not be level. It won't be supported. You'll have a wobbly cake. So what you do is you ice your cake, then go put it in the fridge while you work on the next layer and the next layer. Let it be in there a little bit you know, half an hour or an hour. And then you bring it out to dowel it. So I've got a very cold cake here. Okay, so I put the board on and I'm gonna mark the cake with a toothpick just so I know where to put the dowels inside. Then you take your first dowel and you get down and you look, where is the tallest of the icing? Because no matter how hard you try, you're gonna have a little more icing on one spot than another. Or if you have filling like I do frequently, uh, like Oreo, you know, where I've crushed up Oreos, it's, it's so hard to get a cake um, an even height. So it looks like it might be a little tall over here. So I'll put that first dowel over there. I'll take a pencil and I'll mark it. You want the high, that way all of them will be even. Oh, they want my eraser. So then you take it and you cut that first dowel on the mark, like that. And then you take this dowel and you mark all of the rest of them and cut them all exactly the same height. You do that one by one. And I know you're thinking, well, that's extra work. But yeah, you have to have it. Otherwise your cakes will be like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, especially if you transport them. So just take a few minutes and do it right. So we only need about, I don't know, five dowels because the next cake isn't that heavy. Oops, what are we doing? That's four and this will be the last one. Then, Come over here, you put the one back in that you cut, you space them around, now look, see that one's taller because the icing is smaller there, and an extra one, let's just put it here, then how you can test, you put your board back on, actually, you need to put a little icing there to hold the board. So you will put a little icing here just to hold the board. And then how I test it to see if it's level, I have these small miniature levels. They actually come like a keychain, but I use them and I set it down. Is it level? Well, look at that. The bubbles in the middle. Can you, can you see the bubble in the middle? That's level that way. 
let's turn it this way. That's level. The other way, it looks like it come up just a hair. This, no, this side, yeah. But that's pretty level. Once the weight of the cake gets on, look, just pushing it down from the weight of the cake, level again. But that's how you can tell now, when you put that cake on it, it's going to be level. You're not going, it's, it's supporting it like it's supposed to, and it's keeping the upper cake level. And you do that on up for how many ever layers of cake you have. This one, I'll have a three layer cake. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.